The fourth parameter is called the cross plant. The X stands for cross material status. It's this field, cross plant material status. What's a cross plant material status? Let me show you some examples here. Cross plant material status and the options are obsolete material, blocked for costing, blocked for purchasing. So it's branding this material as blocked for purchasing or blocked for procurement or obsolete material, free for pilot phase. So it's again a way to group materials based on some of the supply chain functionality. One example is, let's say you have so many different materials, right? So many different coffee beans. And from January, let's say this is December, and from January, you want to block certain materials from being procured because you don't want to deal with them. You're phasing them out. You're introducing a brand new material instead of that. So coffee beans, O1, is being phased out. And in its place, coffee beans, O2, is being procured and sold. Now, nobody should be able to procure this material going forward or sell this material going forward, right? Now, purely from a procurement perspective, because we are learning MM, how do you stop all procurement of this material? One way is to delete this material or flag it for deletion. We're going to see it in some of the next chapters. How to delete and flag for deletion. But that's not the correct way, at least in this case. Why? Because there are existing transactions that use this material. Maybe it's only banned from a procurement perspective. You still sell it. That's possible, right? So you don't want to delete this material. You just want to mark it as not relevant for procurement, right? In cases like that, you use the cross-plan material status. And the reason it's called cross-plant is because once you put that field or mark that material as marked for uh, procurement ban, in that case, it affects all the plants, not just Chicago. If you want to affect only Chicago, you got to go do it on the MRP views. Specify the plant and mark it for block procurement for Chicago plant only. Now, in this case, if you mark it as blocked for procurement, say blocked for purchasing, right? Save it. So, material master changed. Now, if you go to ME21N, put a vendor 4001 and do coffee beans 01, enter. You see that? status blocked for purchasing. So it does not allow you to procure coffee beans. The material still exists and any existing material receipts, like you have already ordered for coffee beans, well, you can receive them. Go to MyGo, receive the materials, no problem. Go to Myro, receive the invoice for coffee beans oven, no problem. All existing transactions will run fine. Only new purchase orders will be blocked. And that's the intent, right? Today is December 15th. We want to block all purchases going forward because from Jan 1st, we're going to go with a brand new material. Sure, all new purchases will be stopped. All existing transactions could go on even after December 31st. No problem. So that's cross plant material status. So go to SPRO, IMG, Logistics General, and Material Master, Tools, or Settings for Key Fields, Define Material Statuses, right? What did we use? We said Block for Purchasing. This is the one that we used, right? So select that, click on Details, and here are the different areas that you can block the material. Now, think of different scenarios. You could block that material from purchasing. Yes, 
and that's what we have seen here purchasing is B B means it's an error message you don't want to ever procure anything of this material you could make it a warning in which case it will warn the person procuring this material but it will not stop him maybe it's not a hard stop it's going to be phased out so you just want to warn the person purchasing the goods or the planner to stop procuring this going forward right so hard stop versus soft stop it's not just purchasing what about production if you are producing something don't ever produce this material you could do that production order warning or error right you could want a material to be blocked both for purchasing and production in which case you will mark this as b and you will mark this as b now you can go to a production order try to produce something well coffee beans we don't produce but think of another material say a bakery related material as a cookie coconut cookie and coconut cookie is banned from purchasing because it's going to be phased out and it's also going to be banned from producing in which case you mark this also as b and same thing with the other functional areas you know for warehouse management inventory management so on and so forth depending on what are the different functional areas you want to stop transacting in this material you go and create a new material status mark all the appropriate functional areas as either a warning or an error save it and apply that to the material that's it